All right, this is number six from the 2011 BC Calculus Exam Form B, um, and it is a series question. And in the first part, they actually just give you this series for the natural log of 1 plus x, and they ask you to write a series for the natural log of 1 plus x cubed. Um, we can do that by direct substitution. So what you can see here is that I'm literally replacing every x that I see in the given series with um, x cubed. So that's just a lot of writing. And we go through that. It's really important to get this series right in this particular question because you just keep using it over and over again. Um, so I am going to simplify this. So x cubed is just x cubed minus x cubed squared is x to the sixth. So that'll be x to the sixth over 2. x cubed cubed is x to the ninth. And then over 3, and then x cubed to the 4th is x to the 12th, over 4, plus, and then blah, blah, blah. Then we fill it in, x cubed to the n is x to the 3n, and then all divided by n. All right, and that is part A. So let's move on to part B. In part B, we're told that the radius is actually 1, and we're asked for the interval of convergence. Uh, to do that, we also have to know that the center is zero, but you can see that uh, by looking at the series. Um, so what I need to do is I need to test x equals negative 1, x equals 1 in the series that I found in part A. So let me just jot that series down again. And hopefully this will be easy to do so that we don't have to do too much work. All right, so if we let x equal negative 1, so all the x's I'm going to replace with negative 1. So I get negative 1 cubed, which is negative 1, minus uh, negative 1 to the 6th is positive 1, so we get minus 1 half. Uh, negative 1 to the 9th is negative 1, so we'll get minus 1 third. Uh, negative 1 to the 12th is going to be positive 1, so we get minus 1 fourth. And you can kind of see the pattern here now. So this is actually just the negative of the harmonic series. And you're allowed to just know that the harmonic series diverges. Uh, if you don't know that it's a p-series and p is equal to 1, so it diverges, or you can do the integral test. There's a lot of ways to know that, but the easiest one is to just walk in knowing it. Um, so now let's test x equals 1. And you can see really quickly, we just get 1 minus 1 half plus 1 third minus 1 fourth. And this is actually the alternating harmonic series. And we know that the alternating harmonic series converges also, but I'm less comfortable just stating that fact. So I'm going to say it converges by the alternating series test. Um, so we know it diverges at negative 1, it converges at positive 1, therefore we can state the interval of convergence, and actually answer the question. So the interval of convergence is negative 1, not included, 1 included, or you could use an inequality if you prefer there, that'd be negative 1 is less than x, is less than or equal to 1. Alright, part C, um, what we're going to do is define a new function. And first, we're asked to find f prime of t squared. And, uh, you know, there's a plan for that, so that's why we're doing it. So first thing I'm going to do is find f prime of x, which is just a lot of power rule. So 3x squared minus 3x to the fifth plus 3x to the eighth minus 3x to the eleventh plus dot, dot, dot. All right, now we need to find f prime of t squared, so I'm going to replace every x that I see with t squared. So t squared squared is t to the fourth minus three. t squared to the fifth is t to the tenth. And then t squared to the eighth is t to the sixteenth. And t to the twenty-second we'll get here, plus dot, dot, dot. All right, now the reason for doing that, uh, well, first of all, they just told us to do it. So the reason they told us to do it was because g of x is defined in this weird way. It's the integral from 0 to x of f prime of t squared dt. And then we're asked to approximate g of 1 using two terms of the series that we just wrote. So it's equal to this, but it's approximately equal to this. So just taking the first two terms, dt. All right, so uh, let's evaluate that integral. So it's just reversing the power rule, so plus 1 times the reciprocal. And plus 1 times the reciprocal from 0 to 1. And that really just entails plugging in 1. Plug in 0 and everything goes away. So that's our approximation of g of 1. There's really nothing more to do on that. Um, as with most series, you're just going to plug away. Part D asks us for the error of our last calculation. 
Well, it was a, um, well, they actually tell you that it's a conversion alternating series. Uh, so all we have to know is that the error term is uh, less than the first, well, the absolute value of the first term that you left off. Uh, so let's figure out the first term that we left off. So that's going to actually be the integral from 0 to 1 of, if you go back and look, the next term we would have used, the third term in the sequence, in the series rather, was 3t to the 16th. So it's the integral from 0 to 1 of 3t to the 16th dt, which is 3 17 t to the 17th uh, from 0 to 1, which is just 3 over 17. Um, but then the whole question was to show that it's less than 1 -fifth. So that's what I got for my error, so it must be less than 1 -fifth. And I'm done. Uh, so that's another series question, and there's nothing to be too afraid of. You just got to keep working on it, I guess, uh, because it, they didn't really ask you to do much in this problem. Just find an antiderivative. Uh, I guess you have to know the harmonic series, alternating harmonic. I don't know. Anyway, I hope this was helpful, and good luck.